All right, guys, it's Tim back here on July 10th. I'm going to do my cleanup video a little bit different today. Um, here's that little broken bird point that I found. Right out here on the terrace. And then uh, I'm going to kind of go over the way I think things were probably going in this thing. Uh, about 8,000 years ago. They may have had them a dog sitting there just like that, but I doubt it. Um, not really finding any flint chips inside of the overhang here. I'm guessing that this was probably their living quarters. They probably had them a good woman reminding them to pick up after themselves and get rid of all the flint chips in there. They were probably taking them and throwing them just outside of this big rock right here. Uh, there are just layers and layers and layers and layers of flint out here and I'm guessing that's because they were taking them from in there and probably throwing them out here. They may have even sat out here and worked them a lot but um, I found some stuff back in here. It's basically setting where it was at. There's a big flint nodule. There's a hammer stone. They're probably taking the hammer stone beating stuff off of the flint nodule. Here's some kind of little tool here, more than likely using it to put a stick down in and probably start fire or something of that nature. A little small to be a nutting stone. I've got some nutting stones up there, but they're a little bigger. This was probably their table. And then there was their cutting tool. Um, there's, the, there's the back of the overhang there. I find a few flint chips back there where they probably, you know, beating stuff off the building stone and they shot back in there. They didn't care. They didn't have to lay right up against some rocks right there. That, that's the very back of the overhang, though. So that's just kind of my, my idea of what was going on in this thing. There's a layer of real dark soil here. That's probably where they were taking their bedding and probably lighting it on fire after after they had laid on it for so long, you know, start to build up fleas and uh, lice, you know, all the all the good things they probably had to deal with from living outdoors all the time. They probably lit all that on fire. You don't find many big fire pits inside of here. You do find the occasional. There's one right there. I ran across one today that was just just right on the other side of our big what I call the table rock there. And it wasn't, it wasn't very big, about the size of a basketball. And probably, uh, you know, eight, nine inches deep, but not very big at all. They didn't build big, big fires up underneath of this thing. Just a little small one to stay warm or cook a little small meal, something like that. All that other ash and stuff like that probably come from burning their bedding off. So that's just kind of my idea of the day in the life of what was going on in this place about 8,000 years ago. Alright, enough of that. Check this dude out. Set that little thing down there. Uh, this camera is probably not going to do that thing any justice at all. The working on this thing is just superb. That's a Graham Cave. A beautiful one at that. Um, barely retouched, if at all. Just magnificent. Alright guys, well sorry about the camera being all shaky earlier and everything. I, I hadn't found a point out of here in so long. I just uh, got, got excited. Real excited. So, alright, I hope everybody had good luck. And uh, we'll see you guys.